Enchanted English, Chapter 2, Lesson 3. The old lady approached Dorothy and said, Welcome, noble fairy. Thank you for killing the wicked witch of the East. We appreciate the favor. Very surprised, Dorothy listened to her and then said, That's very nice of you, but I think there's been a mistake. I'm not a fairy, nor have I killed anyone. Answer the questions as if you were Dorothy. You're right, smiled the woman. What did the woman say? That you're right or wrong? That I'm right. You're right, Dorothy, the woman said to me with a smile on her face. What type of mood is the woman in? Is she in a bad mood? No, she's not in a bad mood. She's smiling. That means she's in a good mood. She's happy. Her mood is good. Is she smiling or frowning? She's smiling. She's not frowning. She has a smile on her face. She's smiling. Did you frown? Yes, a little bit. I'm frowning. What the woman said to me bothered me. Why are you bothered? Because you killed a witch with your house? Yes, that's why although I'm not sure why, but it appears that way. I'm bothered because my house killed a woman. I don't like that it looks like my house killed someone, even if she was a bad witch and these people are happy. Do you wish that your house would kill more witches? No, I wouldn't like that. I don't wish my house to kill anyone. I don't like this situation at all. Do you mean that it would be better? If there were more bad witches in the world, would you like that more? No, I wouldn't like that. That's not what I mean. Don't put words in my mouth. I don't wish that there were more bad witches, nor do I want anyone to die. I'm just telling you the story. The woman told me that my house had killed a witch. Good thing I hadn't done it myself. Are you glad that you didn't kill anyone? Yes, I'm glad that I didn't kill anyone. It's a good thing I didn't do it myself. Does that make you feel glad or disappointed? Glad. I'm not disappointed. But I am a bit intrigued. How do you feel? A bit intrigued. I'm intrigued, and I asked the woman, how did this happen? I asked her that out of curiosity. I want to know why it happened. Why did you ask her that? Out of curiosity. I asked because I'm curious. That's why I asked the woman. About what happened? That someone died because your house you were in landed on her? Yes, how could this happen? The evil witch of the east just died. What happened to the witch? Did she die or did she survive? She died. The witch died. She didn't survive. She's dead. Dorothy saw a body under the house. What did you see underneath the house? A car or a body? A body. I saw a body underneath the house. How many bodies did you see? Two or three? One. I only saw one body. The body is underneath the house. Is the body on top of the house? No, it's not on top of it. Is it behind the house? No, it's not behind it either. The body I saw is underneath the house, not behind it, nor in front of it. So the body is inside the house, right? No, not inside the house, outside the house. The body is outside the house and underneath it. What's underneath the house? A body. Underneath the house, there's a body. Or rather, two legs sticking out from under the house. So you saw two arms underneath the house? No, I didn't see any arms. What parts of the body did you see? A head? No, it wasn't a head. I saw two legs, and the feet have shoes on them. Do the feet have shoes on them? Or are they barefoot? They have shoes on them. 
They aren't barefoot. The feet have red shoes on them. What are the shoes made of? Wood? No, they aren't made of wood. They're made of leather. What are the shoes made of? They are red leather. They're made of leather. You mean that the shoes are metallic? No, but they are shiny like metal. And they are red. You mean that you saw a dead woman with shiny red shoes on? Yes, that's right. And is the woman underneath the house? Yes, that's correct. She's underneath the house. It's a witch with red shoes that is underneath my house. And are you interested in knowing how such a thing could have happened? Yes, I am. That's why I asked the old woman how it happened, and the old woman explained it all to me. The story. You're right, smiled the woman. You didn't kill her. Your house did. Excuse me? asked Dorothy. And just then, Dorothy saw a body. Or rather, she saw two legs, with red shoes, underneath the house. The house had fallen on the poor woman. How did the witch die? From the house falling on her? Yes, the house fell on the poor woman. Where did the house fall? Near the woman? No, not near the woman. On top of the woman. The house fell right on top of the woman. On her. So where was the woman after the accident? On top of the house? Or underneath it? Underneath it. The woman was underneath the house. The house crushed her underneath. What did the house do to the woman? It crushed her. The house crushed the woman and killed her. What happened to the house? Did it fall or did it raise up? It fell. The house fell and crushed the woman. The house hit her very hard. What did the house do to the woman? Hit her? Yes, the house hit her very hard. How did it hit her? Hard or soft? Hard. It hit her so hard that the woman died under the house. She was not moving and her feet were sticking out with her red shoes still on. What happened to the woman? Did she get up and leave? No, she didn't leave. She died. She's dead under my house. The house crushed her when it fell on her and I got scared again. Who got scared? Me. I got scared. I got scared again. Did you get scared for the first time? No, not for the first time. I was scared before, and I'm scared again looking at her feet with red shoes. Did you laugh again? No, I didn't laugh again. I got scared again. Did you and Toto get scared? No, we didn't get scared again. Toto is not scared this time. He doesn't understand what is going on. But I did. I got scared again. I got scared because I thought I was the one responsible for the dead woman under my house. Did you think that Toto had killed the woman? No, I didn't think that he killed the woman. I thought that I killed her. I was afraid for what they were saying had happened. But you shouldn't feel sorry for her, said the old woman. Did the old woman tell you that you should feel sorry for the crushed woman under your house with red shoes? No, she didn't tell me that I should feel sorry for her. Did the old woman want you to feel sorry for anyone? No, she didn't want me to feel sorry for anyone. She was trying to make me feel better because everyone was happy with what had just happened. I honestly felt bad about the woman's death. How did you feel about the bad witch's death? Did you feel happy? No, I wasn't happy. I didn't feel happy. I felt bad. I was very sad about the witch, even though maybe I should not have been. Who shouldn't you be sad about? The bad witch under my house. I shouldn't feel sad about her death. Should you feel happy about what happened? Yes, I should feel happy, according to the old woman. The witch turned everyone in this country into her slaves. What did the witch turn them into? Into slaves. She turned them into her slaves. 
they became her slaves. Did they become free and able to make their own decisions? No, they were not free. They were turned into the witch's slaves. The inhabitants of this country became slaves. Who became slaves? Everyone in this country. The citizens of this country. Did they become your slaves? No, not mine. They didn't become my slaves. Who made them into slaves? The witch that died under my house made them into slaves. She turned them into her slaves. Did they become slaves of their own free will? No, not of their own free will. It was the witch's will that made everyone in this country turn into slaves. She had power over them. Did the witch want the citizens to be free? No, she didn't want them to be free. I don't think she wanted anything good to happen to them. The story. The house fell on the poor woman and crushed her, and Dorothy got scared again. She said, what a horrible thing I've done. The good witch then replied, well, you shouldn't feel sorry for her. She turned everyone in this country into her slaves, and now they are free. Dorothy's house landed on a wicked witch, and now she is dead. Everyone thought Dorothy had magic powers because of what had happened. Only feet were sticking out from under the house, and this scared Dorothy. She did not believe what had happened, but the good witch told her it was a great thing because now no one would be her slave any longer. Thank you.